the big fin steps up on the left lane. The number two qualifier is a four-time PBA regional champion from Wesley Chapel, Florida, TD, Tom Doherty. Doherty had the bowl 72 games over six days just to get here on television, by far more than any of our four finalists. And leaves the 2-8-10 out of the gate. And talk about being welcome to television for the first time ever. You see Tom Doherty doesn't use his thumb. There's a thumb there on the side of the bowling ball. Very first shot, 2A-10. The first event of the season for him and his first television show. A big cleanup effort here. And he'll go open frame in the first. And if we've learned anything, an open frame in the first does not spell complete disaster. Koivu Niemi had an open frame in the first frame in his last match as we take a look at Tom Doherty's arsenal today. Going with a nomad dagger, not the hookingest ball in that line or in his arsenal, but that's what he brought today. Reason being, he's got a rev rate of probably close to 600. A lot of RPMs coming out of this hand right here. <laughs> And the first televised strike for Tom Doherty. A big crowd at Royal Lanes in Lutz, Florida, cheering him on right now. And he and Patrick Allen have a pro shop there. And a big crowd in Tampa watching Tom Doherty today. Well, I'll tell you what. If Tom Doherty gets it going, he's a lot of fun to watch. Very animated. Right now, he's just got to figure out a way to keep his emotions in check. This man knows how to do it. Back to back, opening jacks in the semifinal match for Mika. Coming your way, Super Bowl Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern. It's the third installment of the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. And I'm going to go on a limb, Randy, and say it was probably the most enjoyable Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational we've had. And we've had some good ones. Lil Wayne was there, Nelly, Reggie Bush. Uh, uh, Nelly in the booth with us. Priceless. Yeah, but why did they have to show Lil Wayne throwing it in the gutter? I mean, that's, that's, there's no love that, there. That is disrespectful it to is. Lil Wayne. <laughs> Opening three bagger for Mika Koivu Niemi. And his wife applauds. Again, it's Koivu Niemi, by far the most experienced of the four bowlers on t today's TV show. And he is up 31 early on Tom Doherty. Big four is a big problem now for Doherty. Well, remember, he went light in the first frame, made an adjustment, and goes right through the nose. If you take a look at that backswing there, he's got a full cup wrist, no thumbing it. He liked that shot. You saw him running it out early. The big four only made once on television. That's by Walter Ray Williams, Jr., but right now, He's got a mountain to climb. Stay aggressive. A huge early hole for Doherty. Down 45, there's his wife Kristen looking on. Kristen and Tom, proud parents of an eight month old girl, Cameron. Tom, also his son Cody, watching as well back home. And again, Rob, the, the only problem with excessive rev rate that was a bad shot. is when the lanes are flat like this and you can't cure shots off your hand, a little oh, left or a little hand. right is disastrous. A 2 8 10 in the first frame when he got it wide. Nice shot the second. Through the nose in the third for the big four. Right now, Tom Doherty struggling to find rhythm. Oh, no. Wow. 
the you... crowd trying to pick him back up. But this is a massive hole he has dug himself. He needs Mika Koivu Niemi to make some major errors if he's going to get himself back in this. I, and I just don't see that happening. Mika is a seasoned veteran, a major champion. He's been in this situation before. An opening four-bagger here in the semifinal match for Ko Koivu Niemi. He is in absolute cruise control right now. ESPN, the home court of college hoops. Two of the preseason favorites in the Big Ten hookup on Saturday primetime. Jawan Johnson and Purdue. And on Darrell Summers and the Spartans of Michigan State. Saturday primetime presented by DirecTV on ESPN tonight at 9 Eastern. Coverage begins with college game day driven by State Farm at 8 Eastern. That game also available online at ESPN3.com and on your phone. Koivu Niemi trying to start with a perfect set of five strikes. And he does. Right now, Meek has got his eye on the trophy. He says, I'm going to put away Tom Doherty, and then I'm going to have a go at Tom Smallwood for the title through five frames. He is not going to let up. He is a champion, and when he gets an advantage from his opponent, he's going to take advantage. All right. Well, I promise you, this wasn't the ball reaction he had <laughs> to get him to this point. I remember watching last night in position round. Are you kidding me? With Nelson Burton Jr. sitting right next to me and Tom uh. Doherty. Well, he beat Tom Smallwood in position round and came back to us and said that was the greatest game he's ever bowled in his life. All right, yeah. I got 50. He averaged a 225.26 this week, highest of our four finalists. He's not displaying it right now. He's displaying a good attitude, but obviously a disappointing outcome for him thus far. Three open frames in his first five. Well, Tom, <laughs> welcome to live television and a major championship. And sometimes it can be cruel. Yeah, this is more like cruel and unusual punishment. But Mika Koivu Niemi in the background, stoic look. His, I guess that's what I get for breaking up every split this week. His face has not changed. He is focused and dialed in and will not take his foot off of Doherty's throat. Another open frame for Tom. He will take a seat. And Mika Koivu Niemi, perfect through five, is that much closer to a title match showdown with Tom Smallwood and a quarter of a million dollar payday. We're back to Vegas after this. The PBA Tournament of Champions on ABC. Brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Vice inserts, the choice of champions. It doesn't get any better. Brunswick, find your next ball at bowlwithbrunswick.com. And Barbasol, start your day with Barbasol shaving cream. We welcome you back to Las Vegas. Dennis Matthews, the bowling operations manager here at Red Rocks Lane there on your right. To, to his right and our left, that was Fred Shire, the PBA commissioner and CEO. Thanks to Dennis and Fred and everybody involved in putting on this wonderful event here. Again, this is the 46th edition of the PBA Tournament of Champions, the second major of the season. The first was last weekend, won by Chris Barnes, the PBA World Championship. Now Mika Koivu Niemi closing in on a title match showdown with number one seed Tom Smallwood. Mika up 101 pins. Here he closes out the sixth. Perfection continues for Mika. Well, he followed the game plan to perfection thus far, Rob, and that's straighter is greater. That's his A game. He's going with loft. He's going nice and straight and direct. 
But you know what? When asked last night why he had success this week when it looked like it was a power player's tournament, he said, simple, I just made great shots. He was on last week's PBA World Championship show. It was the fifth seed, finished sixth. And another strike, so seven in a row for Mika. And when we talked to him last week, he was confident. On the verge of maybe being a little cocky, a little too confident. We talked to him yesterday, and his sense it was dialed down just a little bit, enough to know that he was comfortable with his game and where he was, but some of that edge had left. Tom Doherty here in the seventh, picking up the pace and getting a strike. His second on TV, and whoo, exhale. I would take a look at the Bear Trusted pain relief replay brought to you by the makers of Bear Aspirin and some much needed relief for Doherty getting a strike here in the seventh. Well, Tommy had a nice run in this event. Remember, he had to bowl 72 games. He qualified for this event by being a regional winner. Andres Gomez qualified for this event because he is a current exempt player. Only Gomez and Stuart Williams of England were the only two non-champions in this entire field. This is uh, turning into a nightmare for Tom Doherty. Yeah, the beauty of it, though, is he has such a great personality for so long. Now I'm relaxing. Now you're relaxing yeah. a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mika say, now I can sit back and enjoy. And, and Doherty, just one of the real, real good people out here. You and I have known him for a while. We also want to send on uh, a quick get well message to his father-in-law, Craig McGuire, was in a really bad accident Thursday morning in Florida, was life flighted out, was in the hospital last night. Looks like everything's going to be all right with Craig, and we wish him a speedy recovery. Got to get to 100. Got to get to 100. Yeah, he needs two marks to break 100. It, it'll be the lowest game in Tournament of Champions right, history. I'm sure he'll... And he Love needs, you mentioning that. Well, you know, I'm just stating facts, sir. Um, the lowest game ever bowled on television, 126. He's got his work cut out for him. Here's Mika, perfect through seven, his effort in the eight. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to talk about it. It has been nothing but strikes for Koi Bunami in the semis. Well, the biggest lopsided game... In Tournament of Champions history, 20 perfect games bowled on TV. The last one being Rhino Page, 2009, Tokyo, Japan. In the Japan Cup. Prior to that, it was here in the States, Ryan, Ryan Schaefer in Indianapolis. Perfection continues for the Big Finn. And, and who can forget Mika Koivuniami, December 7, 2003, Windsor Locks, Connecticut. He bowled a perfect game against Jason Couch. The 17th perfect game in PBA history. You see Tom Doherty stepping up and firing as a class move. He is trying to get out of the way and let Mika and his pursuits of a perfect game in history get going. And we really don't want to rush. Tom off stage, but I think he would like to get off stage as quick yep. as he can. Almost a great pickup. Get up, fire off, get the 10th frame out of your way, and step aside for that man, Mika Corbuniemi. Perfect. I mean, really? Again? All right, I need two. Two for 100. Come on, Tom. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Tom, don't do it. They're not booing. They're chanting two. <laughs> you got to love it. Unbelievable. I mean, these are numbers. <laughs> oh, man, you got to feel yeah, for These are numbers my wife would put up at the polling center. You got to feel go. for I need two, baby, two. Come on, Tom. We're cheering for you, bud. Yeah! 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 Give him a hundred! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah! Glorious. Get it and live it up, son. Yeah. All right. Hey, we got some business over here. True that. So Doherty with the 100 sits down. Koivu Miami trying to pull out a 300. That smile finally cracks the face of Koivu Niemi. 
Again, only 20 times on television has a 300 game been rolled, only four times at a major. He is three strikes away from a perfect game. Two strikes away from perfection. Mika Koi. Mika Koivuniemi has got his sights on a major championship standing in the way. Possible perfection. What a game plan he came in with today. Two strikes away from a $10,000 bonus check for dropping a 300 game on television. Nobody's ever done it twice on TV. Come on, Vegas, get up! Well, he he actually pulled that one a bit wrong, and I think he's a bit surprised that it held line. He did not like it on the release, but the result will work just fine. It's going to take a re-wrap and regroup, and normally when you see somebody get away with one in the 10th or the 11th shot, 300 is right around the corner because that's the break they needed. He's going to be nice and relaxed. I'm going to go out on the limb and say yeah. he's going to throw this one really good. There it goes. It's gone. Come on, Mika. He's already moved on to our title match and crack at a quarter of a million dollar payday. Now, He's attacking history. Trying to become just the second person to throw a 300 game at the Tournament of Champions. For perfection! Come on, Messenger! Come on! No! No! Reminiscent of Don Johnson's 299. You see Mika hit the turn. Jack beyond the Little's record is safe. The only 300 game ever bowled back in 1967 at the Tournament of Champions. Now Mika has to regroup and refocus on the real task at hand. A $250,000 payday, payday by winning the TOC. Here's his last shot. Got it in the oil just a little bit. The ball finishes just a bit soft. Messenger comes over only to be denied. Wow. Grammy nominated Bowling for Soup takes the stage with a live performance when our presentation of the richest bowling tournament in history returns.